Today we're going to look at getting started with RAD Calculator. RAD Calculator is part of the Telerik RAD controls for Silverlight WPF Control Suite for .NET XAML development. In this video, we will see how easy it is to get started with RAD Calculator. We will begin by adding RAD Calculator to a new Silverlight application and explore its features. We will wrap up the video by learning how to add the RAD Calculator Picker to your Silverlight project as well. Let's go ahead and jump inside of Visual Studio 2010 and get started. So here we are, we're back inside of Visual Studio 2010 and I'm simply going to go File, New, Project. I'm going to select Silverlight from Visual C Sharp and then I'm going to select RAD Controls Silverlight Application. I'm going to go ahead and give this a name of Calculator Getting Started TTV and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit OK. Next I'm going to host the Silverlight application in a new website and I'm also going to be using Silverlight 5. Go ahead and hit the OK button and the next screen you'll see is the project configuration wizard. The RAD calculator actually lives in telerik.windows.controls.input so I'm going to place a check in that. And if we scroll back up to the top, you'll see that it also placed a check in telerik.windows.controls, which is a dependent reference. We're going to go ahead now and hit the Finish button. So, okay, so once we hit the Finish button, our Silverlight 5 project is finishing spinning up. Let's take a look over under our references. Under References, you'll see that it automatically added telerik.windows.controls and telerik.windows.controls.input to our project for us. We can go ahead and we can scroll up a little bit on our user control. Notice here that the Telerik XML namespace has also been added automatically for us. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to come underneath my grid and I'm just going to type in Telerik and I'm going to type in RAD Calculator and we'll just go ahead and we'll close that tag. So now that we added RAD Calculator, I can scroll down just a tad here and we can see that we already have the RAD Calculator on our designer window. Let's go ahead and let's run this application and explore what you get just right out of the box. So, so far I've only added one line of XAML and I get the following application. So if we look at the calculator here, there's a couple things that we're going to notice. The first thing is on our first line here, these are our memory buttons. Next after that, you'll start to see some of our functional buttons here. Then of course the numbers, and then finally we'll see that these three buttons here are our clear buttons. So if we go ahead and we type in a number here, maybe 45 times, then you'll see up here in the top we have our history of what was last typed in. So we've had 45 times maybe 55 and we hit equals and we get our result. And of course you can use any of the memory buttons the way that you would in a typical calculator. So for example we'll just type 85 here. We can see that that's noted here with the memory status. MR then what we just added to memory will be shown and of course we can clear our contents of the memory with just this button. That's just a quick sample of the RAD calculator out of the box. So we just looked at basic arithmetic but you can also perform more complex calculations such as the square root, the reciprocal, the percent, the negate. All of these can be executed by their corresponding buttons and in later sections you'll actually see us add custom buttons and custom operations. But there also may be other times where you don't want to display the whole calculator. Maybe you want to display a RAD calculator inside of a grid view column. Well, you definitely wouldn't want the whole calculator showing. That's where you can use the RAD calculator picker. So we'll just come back and I'm going to scroll up just a tad here and we're going to add on RAD Calculator Picker. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give this a height of 30 and I'm going to go ahead and give it 
a width of say 200. So if we go back and we run our application again, then you'll see we have a rad calculator picker. So this is the value of the calculator, but if you select this button, the calculator is then displayed. So we'll just type in a number here, and as you can see as we're typing it in, these values are being updated. And we'll go ahead and calculate something, and you can see that our final value is displayed in the RAD calculator picker. So like I said, this may be something that you may want to add to a RAD grid view or some other control to save space on the screen. So thanks again for watching. And please tune in to tv.telleric.com for more videos and check out blogs.telleric.com for the latest news and announcements.